What's up guys, it's Vicky Dizer Shiali the show. Okay, so you saw at the office there is some light issues, yeah. It's God. So it must refer back to to God. Oops. So I went back home. You can see uh, it's no longer so vibrant as it was before. So <laughs> I just literally have this and maybe a little bit of a background with the monitor over there. And so we're gonna read the statement that came out from Moja Love concerning the 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 resignation basically of bishop makamu to the show but i'm gonna sh to tell you also why for me it's not really the bigger subject right now and so it's the reality show we do daily christian commentary videos if it's your first time here do check the pink comments it contains another particular part of bishop makamu praying concerning the particular subject you should check that video out it's down in the pink comments and so on this particular statement here they say uh, emergency release on the 11th to yesterday, Moja Love Channel 157 has accepted Bishop Makamo's decision to voluntarily step down from the channel uh, pending an, in, uh, an internal investigation after the recording of Raramta uh, Tata has been circling on social media. So, um, now let's be very clear here a television station taking a moral stand. I want to also bring up a, a question here, particularly to church folks or Christians, therefore, when it comes to that particular position from a biblical perspective. And so you're not morally right, but you know, the television station themselves, they actually publish unmoral things. Bishop Makamu maintains that he is innocent and says the recording dates back to 2017. Now that's a very weird statement. This actually confirms what I was saying. In the second video so do check the, the second video it says you are innocent how we heard you like dude no matter if it's back in 2017 <laughs> if this situation is from 2017 the question is what happened on sunday <laughs> what happened on sunday since they said no that day you can't come what happened on, on that sunday were you there did you go says he, uh, the lady is uh, in the recording worked uh, for him and the conversation was not about in any manner okay when i come will you give me i don't know what that could mean maybe i'm a sunday school kid <laughs> i don't know I, do, I don't know how you can twist that one uh, around was not in any way particularly towards that subject uh, it so what were you scheduling to do on on sunday Bear in mind, this would mean that you would go to church, maybe tell his wife, no, you know what, hey, have some very serious commitments. And then after preaching a message on fire, you know how they, <laughs> they get, I feel the Holy Spirit kind of a thing, and then go over to thingy. According to the conversation, okay, not me, but according to the conversation, he says that the lady recording, we used to work for him, okay, it was altered to extort money from him. Now, he's still not acknowledging his part. He says that he thought the matter was resolved back then, internal investigation, and are reaching our, uh, out to the lady in the recording to find out the events around the recording. Is it not clear or it was a cheating matter? That's not me. That's what the, the, the subject in the video is. That's not his wife, my child. Can I come and get? <laughs> what do you want? Why does he say that it was not towards? I mean, like anybody that's an adult, maybe a baby, you can confuse them and say, no, that the recording was not about that. The question is, what does the church therefore say? Particularly his church, not the ch their church. No, his church. Okay, let's be very clear. Don't blame their church for one individual's uh, things over there. What does his church say? Because uh, Makamu's situation here, therefore, uh, it says that he should be cut off from the from his duties of preaching. He shouldn't be preaching, according to the to the, what the Bible says. According to what the Bible lays out, it says that a man should have a good report within the society, meaning the society must have all the particular view about the mind of God. So does he does is the moral ground being held from a a worldly organization and an organization that's seen with a spiritual view 
holds a lower ground? What is the ground that the church themselves, what, what are they holding? The church, the, the particular Makamu church. Which is where, in, in many cases, the church is just a, a, a family affair. It's a family thing. So a pastor can't step down. Because why? He is, is the owner. <laughs> you know? Yes, you have a calling, but when you do your own things, I know your leadership. Please sit down. That's why churches have church boards. That's why there's all these things. That's why when, when the election of a bishop is taking place, the, the, the people who are witnesses of, ah, this one is not good in that area. When it comes to leadership, this one, we should just put him on the side. That's why it comes in handy. You say, is the person responsible so to say in society that we could have them in this particular role? For me, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I think you might just continue on. But that's where I would rather explain. This one is your job. Go back, do that. Okay. The, the channel does their own things, which are just... <laughs> Moja laugh. <laughs> Moja laugh is all kinds of shows over there where the moral perspective is not really the route. And so their moral perspective here is even higher than his church. Very concerning. You look at First Corinthians chapter number 5, Paul is taking issues with a church that refuses to have the moral up uphold of things. Channels are saying, ah, no, us, we have a very serious moral ground. <laughs> a channel is saying that. But his church, the public won't chill on it and sit down and say nothing. This is where the conversation starts. And then they will say, oh, no, we take, we take all these issues seriously. Now, I'm not talking about the channel. Churches, some churches will say, yeah, we'll take this issue seriously. But then here is a situation. When this situation comes up, what happened? Oh, you can give us a report and say, yeah, when this, say, when this came up, Makamu did take a, a six months holiday and he chilled and he was not preaching that's the standard the, the bible actually as a matter of fact the bible says don't have such people amongst you that that's not me that that's yeah that's what the book says okay that's what the book says as a matter of fact first Corinthians chapter number five hammers it down and says this person you should have cast him out so that you can go do those things outside when he's repented then you can bring him back in amongst you but they cannot keep so they can tell us if they had taken if this goes back to 2017 they can tell us what actually happened but him saying that that conversation wasn't he must really think we are stupid <laughs> he's better does he take us serious yeah I'll tell me what you think for me the church has a higher moral ground than a tv channel but we'll wait to see if they have if they did sit him down particularly when this thing comes up then all right salute to you and then if he's continuing with his duties and if it's that old of a subject great and also moja love must give us an update on what they really did they find when they communicated with the lady okay so that we can find out what was the conversation what were you giving him must have a higher moral ground why because the moral ground on which we stand on it's not i made the mistake uh -uh. It's the ground on which Christ himself is the one that judges what is right and wrong. Don't come here with, no, why is it everybody is judging? People are laughing. Oh, no, no, no. We are not the standard. God has placed the standard. So don't come here with the worldly shenanigans <laughs> and come with that kind of mentality. It's Ricky, y'all yeah, tell me what you think is real and I'll see you later on. If you like this kind of commentary, we do this on a daily basis. Y'all yeah, be good. Salute. So